Hello everyone, so I'm playing the new tier 10 British TD, the FV215B, 183mm. A lot of people think this is overpowered, but uh, I'm not too convinced. It's a good tank, but it has a lot of positives. Or, actually it has one positive, the gun. And it has a ton of negatives, like the armor, the overall HP, which is okay, but not great. Accuracy, aim time, shell velocity, hesh, unreliability, if that's a word. Better run away. <laughs> Basically, it has, it has a few positives and a lot of negatives. When everything comes into play and falls where you want it to, it's a very good tank. The hesh shells are what people complain about. Which, they're good, but at the same time, they're not very reliable since you really are limited with what you can pen. It's like right there, I penned that E3. However, I was lucky with that accuracy. I hit right inside of his track, which has very weak armor, which I could penetrate. However, the Hesh shell went a little bit to the right, hit his track, would have did a little bit of damage. If it hit anywhere else with over 275 effective armor, it would have did a little bit of damage. And as far as a little bit, when I refer to that, it's around 500, 500, 600, 700. Only because with a 24 second reload, for a normal tank that's not that great for that damage. The AP shells are good, but they're not reliable. And the Hesh shells aren't reliable, but they do more damage. I can survive. The armor on this thing is very bad too. Even the turret cheeks, aside from the mantle, you can pretty much penetrate with anything. Penetration. You do set Penetration. stuff on fire a great deal since you have a large caliber gun. Which is nice. If you have IS-7, get that AMX-50. I was lucky that they weren't able to fly. Ammo hit! We're lucky it didn't blow! They're hit! See, they're 422 damage. I didn't penetrate the ST-1, so... I got a typical Hesh roll with that. People like to focus on the one-shots, which are awesome and suck for others, but at the same time, you really have to know what you're doing with Hesh to be able to, to exploit that. I'm just going to let them go after that GP, and I'm going to round the corner and hopefully hit his... Lara Glacius. They're knocked out. See, you really have to hit the weak spots of tanks to be able to do the full hash damage. If you're able to do that, you're golden, but you always can't do that since this map's a very good map since it's very small, but for long range, it's a crapshoot, and you're basically... It's sort of like Artie, you're just in 
hoping that it lands where you want it to. Either way, a pretty decent match. It's basically that's how it goes when people don't flank you. Got top XP. Made a little bit of credits because I bought a ton of shells when they're half off hash. If you don't buy hash when they're half off, they cost 8,000 a piece. And no matter what you do, you'll always lose credits. Typically, you lose between 5,000 and 25,000 credits, win or loss. So I did 6,100 damage, and I took a bit of damage as well. Either way, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also check out my website, wotguru.com, for weak spot guides, tank guides, and more.